Hi boys and girls, yesterday was Mother's Day. Today I'm going to be reading a story to you called Koala Lou, written by Mem Fox, illustrated by Pamela Loss. Yesterday was Mother's Day and I hope you had a wonderful time spending time with your mom and your family. There was once a baby koala, so soft and round that all who saw her loved her. Her name was Koala Lou. Everyone loved her, the platypus loved her, and even tough little koala claws next door loved her. But it was her mother who loved her the most of all. A hundred times a day, she would laugh and shake her head and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. Boys and girls, raise your hand if mom tells you all the time that she loves you. Yeah. Whenever she stretched in the early morning sun or climbed a gum tree or bravely went down the path all by herself, her mother would smile and say, Koala Lou, I do love you. The years passed and other koalas were born, brothers and sisters for Koala Lou. Soon her mother was so busy she didn't have time to tell Koala Lou that she loved her, although she did love her. Koala Lou began training right away. She jogged and puffed and lifted weights and panted. She hung from a branch with one paw at a time. She did push-ups till her tummy hurt. And last of all, she climbed the tallest tree she could find over and over again. At the last day of the Bush Olympics has finally arrived. Koala Claus had also entered the gum tree climbing event and everyone knew how fast she was, but Koala Lou was not scared. She saw her mother in the crowd and imagined her saying, Koala Lou, I do love you. Her heart filled with hope. Boys and girls, thumbs up or thumbs down. Do you think Koala Lou is going to win the, win the race? I think so. Let's keep reading and find out. It was Koala Lou, Koala Claus who went first. Her climb was a record-breaking 22 meters and 70 seconds flat. The spectators whistled and cheered and wildly waved their party hats. Can I do better than that? wondered Koala Lou. I must. As she stepped toward the tree, a hush fell over the crowd. On your mark, get set, go! Koala Lou leapt onto the tree. Up and up she climbed, higher and higher and higher, faster and faster until there she was, right at the very top. The spectators roared and clapped and stamped their feet. Boys and girls, why do you think they're clapping, stamping their feet, and roaring? Why do you think they are? Because they're happy for Koala Lou. Good job. But she wasn't fast enough. In spite of all of her training and her hoping, it was Koala Claus who won the, gl the gum tree climbing. Koala Lou came second. So boys and girls, Koala Lou didn't come in first place, but she came in second place. Koala Lou went off and hid. She heard the shouts of the Bush Olympics and cried her heart out. Boys and girls, why do you think Koala Lou was sad? Yeah, because she didn't come in first place. She came in second place and she wanted to win. When the first stars of evening appeared in the sky, Koala Lou crept home through the dark and up into the gum tree. Her mother was waiting for her. Before she could say a word, her mother had flung her arms around her neck and said, Koala Lou, I do love you. I always have and I always will. And she hugged her for a very, very long time. 